Have you ever used an old map to get to a new place? Who even uses maps anymore? We found far better ways of finding where it is that we want to go. And we need to do the same thing with work and life integration. I'm Diane Bolden, executive coach and author of The Pinocchio Principle, Becoming a Real Leader. I probably don't have to tell you about the great resignation. The fact that in February alone, both resignations and job openings were at near record highs and the layoff rate was at a near historic low. The fact that employer demand for workers remains at near record highs and that most workers are switching jobs rather than leaving the workplace altogether. The number hired in February exceeded resignations by about 2.3 million people. This has tremendous implications for companies who are competing to hire and retain key talent, as well as individuals and professionals who are feeling like they need a change. Feelings of burnout and overwhelm are running rampant. In some ways, COVID and telecommuting allowed us more time with our families, but for many, especially high achievers, it really blurred the lines between family, personal lives, and work skewing things more toward work and leaving people feeling as though they've been chewed up and spit out. COVID and recent world events have really brought our mortality into focus. It's reminded us of what's most important in our lives and the need for meaning, purpose, and significance is more important now than ever. Things had to change to accommodate the pandemic and we're realizing that they probably will never really be the same. We can't go back but what are we moving to? This is uncharted territory. There is no map here. We have to rely on something other than the past to help us chart our way into the future. But we've been conditioned to respond. And for so many of us, that conditioning was to work harder, longer, more intensely, to sacrifice and burn the candle at both ends. And we just can't do that anymore. Companies that expect their people to do that are losing their top talent. And professionals who've been doing that for so many years now are realizing we have to find a better way. There's never been a better opportunity for leadership and not just leadership at the very highest levels of organization, leadership at all levels of organizations and self-leadership. When nothing is certain, anything is possible. We need to blaze a new trail. And in order to do that, we need to break free of the conditioning that has us reacting to new things in old ways. Because beyond that conditioning is ingenuity. And that is genius. If you're among those who've been feeling overwhelmed, burned out, and recognizing something has to give, you may be among the leaders we really need to help us all find a way out of this and to create new ways of working and living and leading. But you have to help yourself first. You need to recognize the patterns you're unwittingly falling into. Patterns like speeding up when you really need to slow down, over-promising, leaving very little time for yourself to rest, sacrificing the strategic for the operational, playing it safe, flying under the radar, or just allowing yourself to go on autopilot. You need to unlearn some things before you institute new patterns. Patterns like getting better results with less effort, taking better care of yourself, creating strategic time for insights to land, the insights that will lead you to solutions to new and emerging problems, and cultivating the energy that you need to make significant change. Because once you can do that for yourself, you can help others do the same. If this appeals to you, I have a special invitation for you. A small group is assembling for a 13 week leadership development program. It's called the Pinocchio Principle Unleashed, the real leader's guide to accessing the freedom and flow of your authentic genius. It's going to kick off on Thursday, April 21st. The program is limited to nine people. If you're interested, you can find details about the program at unleashtheextraordinary.com. And there, you can sign up for a brief chemistry call to determine if the program is a good fit for you. Or message me. Albert Einstein once said, you can't use an old map to explore a new world. Let's do away with the maps altogether and blaze a new trail.